Joining us now is the man of the week. He is the USTF CCCA Men's National Athlete of the Week in track and field. Not a surprise after breaking a 46-year-old school record at BYU. Kenneth Rooks, welcome to BYU Sports Nations. Congratulations. Dude. Man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Have you taken in what you did? I, I, I think I have to some extent. I feel like I'm still taking it in uh, a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm still taking it. In. When did it set in that you had done something that really mattered? Because um, this certainly matters. Well, I, I mean, I, at, at the end of the race, I knew I broke the school record. I didn't know all of the other things that I did. Um, I think, well, I mean, it, it did hit me because I, I beat uh, two of the Olympians that competed for the U.S. Uh, in the last Olympics. Like in that so, race, or are you saying in that, that race? In that race. That's yeah. incredible. So you, you so. finish ahead of them and you're like, okay. Yeah, so I, I knew that I'd done something big yeah. um, at the end of the race. I just didn't know all the things that I'd done, but yeah. Who, well, who, who was like the person, or when did you find out of like XYZ, fastest um, American collegian, second fastest NCAA school record? Yeah, you knew I, school record. yeah I found out. I knew school record. Um, Fast in 2023? Yeah. Anybody in the world? Yeah, I, I didn't know the stats about the fastest time in the world or second fastest time in NCAA history until like the interview after the race. And they were telling me, I was like, oh, okay. I was a little surprised. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I knew that I had the, the BYU school record. I knew I'd get it with a lap to go because I was looking mm. at the clock and I saw that. Your I'd pace be was, you were pacing. Yeah. Okay. What went into the day? Like, did you do anything differently? You eat, like, what, exactly. Like, wh <laughs> what you did drink? you do to produce this type of result? Um, well, um, I had Denny's for breakfast and Jersey Mike's <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> So, um, yeah, um, just I tried to um, go into it uh, with the right mindset. Um, just um, I, I knew that it was going to be a competitive race. It was a really competitive field. All the guys in the, uh, were really good. So um, I just wanted to go, with, go in with the mindset to um, just put myself in it, stay attached uh, one lap at a time, and then towards the end when everyone was making, starting to make moves, just make my move and uh, see what I had left, so. Did you feel uniquely good before the race started? Like, in your mind, were you like, I feel really good right now? Or was this just like a typical day prepar preparing for a run? I mean, I usually get really nervous before races, so I was really nervous. Um, I mean, I, I, did feel, I did feel good. I've had some good workouts. Um, my coaches were talking to me the day of and helping me have some confidence, uh, helping me just trust in the process. But, um, yeah, I mean, it didn't feel any different, per se, than any other races other than the atmosphere and the competition was different. So, Which of those notable things that we mentioned are you most proud of? Um, I'm probably most proud of breaking the school record, Henry Marsh's school record. It's, I mean, it's been up there for a while. Um, There's a board. You and, guys yeah. look at the board, yep. mm -hmm. and then you have like a ceremony to win. Yeah. You actually put it up. Have you had that already? Yeah, I haven't had that yet. Oh, no. Right. Normally, normally we do that at the end of the season. We'll okay. just we call it team lap. We'll get together as a team and we'll do that. And then you put so. like the new top tens. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Stuff. Yep. We, can we go to that? Um, <laughs> I want to go to that. It's just I don't like know. on the track, I mean, right? Yeah, it's just on yeah. the track. Anyone yeah. could just wander by, but tonight we'll just be there. We'll just be Can we be yeah. randomly wandering by at that very moment? <laughs> well, I don't know what it is yet. I don't know what it is yet, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Kenneth Rooks is with us on BYU Sports Nation. You have hit a pinnacle moment in your running career. Hard to top this, but now that you've done it, where do your goals and dreams extend to beyond this? Um. Well. Um, I think I've always, I mean, I mean, I've had in the back of my mind it would be cool to, to work toward qualifying for the Olympics. Uh, I think that just with this race that becomes a lot more of a real possibility of something I could do. Um, but as far as moving forward, I'm just trying to keep my mindset the same. Um, just trying to focus on the next race, getting ready also for nationals for the NCAAs. It's going to be it's going to be tough. There's some really good guys I got to compete against. So I ran 817. There's two other guys who ran 818 last year. So they're just like right there. So it's going to be that's kind of where I'm focused on right now. But did the national champ last year run 818? Is that he what you're did. saying? Yeah. Okay. What is that? What is that sort of um, 
like to have that spotlight now of every race you're in, mm -hmm. you're going to be like, oh, that kid ran 817. Yeah. Like, like it's a different kind of pressure, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Um, it is a little different. It is a different kind of pressure. Um, I just have to try and not worry about that too much, because um, if I if I think about that too much, I might uh, uh, change my mindset to not be in the right place. So um, I, c I I can take the confidence that I am the guy that everyone's uh, kind of shooting for, everyone's trying to look to beat. Um, but I can also take confidence that I I can compete with the best, and uh, yeah. I am good. And it's going to be really hard to beat me. So a national so. championship is the goal, certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's totally in the mix, given what you yeah. just ran. Like, if you can, certainly don't have to do that exact race, but you could have yeah. something similar and be on the podium or win it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that an expectation a couple weeks ago for you? Um, like, how you ran, or did this race sort of change things? Well, I, I felt that... Um, because I ran 8.22 last year. I feel like this season I've, I'm in better shape than I was last year. Um, and I knew that I was one of the people who, had a sh who has a shot at winning uh, the national title for the NCAA. Um, so I, 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 my mindset's still the same. I, it just gives me more confidence. That's, that's the main thing. It just gives me more confidence that that is something that, that I could... It should be a confident moment, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and like a validating moment of like, okay, I put in this work and, and look what I did. Let's keep this going, right? Yeah. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, before you go, we're going to give you some BOA Sports Nation karma. May 24th through the 27th, you're running in the West Prelims in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Top 12 individuals and top 12 teams qualify for nationals. Do you feel like you have to run another 817 to be in a good place, or, or is there a mark that you feel like is safe to get you to nationals? Um, well, I don't have to run 817. That's probably not what I'm going to do. I'm pro I just need to survive in advance. Um, so uh, it's top three in each heat. There's three heats at regionals for the steeplechase. Top three in each heat, next three fastest times. So as long as I'm top three, I'm fine. Are you the greatest runner from Walla Walla, Washington ever? Um, <laughs> He's up there. Maybe. Have be. onion rings influenced you to run faster? That's the real question. Uh, I don't know if the onion rings have influenced me to run faster, but they are good. They, they are, are so they are good, so right? Good. Yeah. yeah. Get this man another Denny's Grand Slam before the <laughs> West prelims. 199. Are you out of your mind? mind? Yes. Yeah, Give him the go. discount Grand Slam. Give him a free Grand Slam. Let him do his thing. Congratulations, Kenneth. Yeah, awesome to have cool. you in Studio thank B. Uh, take the karma, run well. We'll be watching for sure. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Kenneth. Went on a mission to Uganda. The greatest uh, RM awesome. runner from U Uganda. Mission. Twice. Yeah. And he served in Orem as well, and Ed Eyestone's home ward. That's cool. That's <laughs> super cool. <laughs> Coach wasn't trying to do, he wasn't like talking you up about racing, was he? Um, I mean. You're like, I need a reference, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to teach. Uh, we actually did teach, teach somebody together a few times. Oh, nice. that's cool. Yeah. That's yeah. very cool. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah. All right. Again, great to have you in the studio, B-Man. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thank you. Up next.